Hello guys and girls, voices from the dark here. I'm standing here with Marthor, Kidior, and Nazim. I decided to change him back into a man. Uh, I got tired of pulling, pulling him around, so yeah. And I was not aware that the outfit looks so... skimpy on men, but that's the thing. And I changed Marthor back into these clothes, and we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. Both of us equipped with like Nordic war picks. I like your style, Kidior. I like your style. So in today's episode, I really wanted to bond a little bit with my friends. Because I feel like I've abused them a lot lately, and I feel like it would be really nice if we could just go and do something together. So first of all, me and my friends, we're just gonna take a little trip to the hot springs. There doesn't necessarily have to be any women there. I mean, that would be a nice bonus, but I feel like we should just... Oh, wait. You were here last time, weren't you? What are you doing here? Are there any... Any hot grills? Are there any grills around? Can't see any grills. Much disappoint. Much disappoint. You know what? Let's just wait around. It's like 1 p.m. Maybe people don't want to go to the baths at 1 p.m. Maybe it's like a 3 p.m. time. Oh, still nobody here. Oh well. Ah, oh, isn't this nice? Fully dressed in water. You know what, guys? Hot springs ain't our thing. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, things could just got weird. Okay, okay. Shh. Dun. Dun, dun, dun. What is this? Is, 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 is this how you bathe in Skyrim? Wait, she, she's pulling out a... T oh, sh I think she saw me. Oh, ah, ah. Dun, 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 dun. Why is there a little girl here? It's totally ruining my perv and plants. Oh, so she's here. They don't even un... I am disappointed in you. I am disappointed in you, young woman. Get back. Uh, uh, you win this one. Okay, so I'll leave because there are kids involved. So, we have been tossed to go over here to Fort Uruk. But I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I wanna explore the north here, where we have not yet been. And so we will set out. Let's do it from somewhere we haven't been that much. Let's go to Borvald again. How does this city look after the siege, I wonder? I wonder if this is gonna place us in the city. We'll see. At least Nassim is undressed. True. Ugh, why do I keep getting a horse? You know what? Screw it. Horse is mine. So, let's get the map here. So, let's just travel a little bit, get some things on our map, and just make sure not to abuse our friends too much. That's gonna be the goal of this episode. Just keep your friends close. I wanna try and get as many of the map markers in Falskar on the map as possible. Just explore as much as we can explore. Like maybe we don't have to like get every single location, but just having like a general overview of the land would be would be very, very good. No pull for what? I'm gonna try not to get this horse killed. I'll I'll certainly do my best. <laughs> get off that horse. <laughs> no horse. Chad is reacting very strongly to this. Don't worry, I'm I'm I tend I tend to my animals quite well. Almost as well as I tend to my friends. There's a farm here. Screw you, peanuts. We're going on foot. You want you want to come with me? Oh wow. So Kijor and Asim are a bit slow. Outrunning my friends is totally fine because I can't be asked to wait for them. So we're just gonna swim across here. They have some sort of wa water farm. It's beautiful. Hello, Reynold or Farmstead. Who's here? What do you have to offer for a traveler like myself? Cup of mead, a few chicken legs, your wife, anything goes, man. Just, what, was that a door inside a door? Doorception. I guess it's extra security. You got that going for you. It's, uh, these are dangerous times. These are dark times. There is no denying. There's nobody here. Oh, free sweet rolls. Yes. <gasps> Plate wooden. Oh, jeez. I just threw their... Oh, wait, wait, what? Yeah. There are opportunities everywhere. Why don't you oh, go? Gosh, don't say that to me when you're wearing that, Nosim. Like coming in with a really skimpy and seductive outfit, and he's like, there are opportunities everywhere. Why don't you experiment? Okay, this door is definitely possessed. What is this? If you are reading this, and neither my wife nor I are at our home, then we are in trouble. Look behind the crate in the back right corner of the shed behind our house. You'll find all that you need there. 
What? Is this a quest? That is so cool. I just went into a random house and found that. That's the sort of questing I love. That's my type of quest. I don't like quests that are like shoved down your throats. And I saw a mod on the Nexus actually, which sort of addressed that and made NPCs not approach you with their quests. You had to like seek them out on your own. And you could also have like an option to refuse quests if somebody offers them to you. Because often in Skyrim, if somebody gives you a quest and asks you, do you want to do this? Even if you say no, they add the quest to your log. It just feels, oh, hey, can, oh, you're just a guard. You don't know anything that's going on here, do you? Worthless, nameless faces of the night. Don't look at me that way. Do you know how many subscribers I have? That's right. That's right. 32, baby. 32,000. <laughs> Once upon a time, I had 32, though. Back in 2010, yo. Must have taken me many months to get 32, actually, when I think about it. Wait, don't miss down there. Okay, so you said a crate at the right corner behind your shed. So I'm guessing in here. That's... I would think the, these are barrels. And these are wheel carts. Don't trust wheel carts. I'm Tip number one. Confused, but lately it seems like every is, is it in a barrel? Is out to prove that he's the equal of Wait, what is... Okay, let's let's get it on the uh, the key from the journal inside. Wait, is that is that the right one? Oh, behind the crate. I thought it was inside the crate. Leonard's journal. NG1, we are expecting an excellent yield once again this year from the crops. Yes, this is wonderful. The gods have looked favorably upon us yet again. The exciting life of a peasant. Yes, more crops. Maybe I won't starve. Looks like I shall finally expand the cellar to meet our growing productivity. On the morrow, I shall run to town for supplies. Aneka and I are very lucky. I should also send word to Jalma of Amber Creek. She always enjoys good news from this area. Entry number two. Today I was digging in the cellar to expand it outward, and while digging broke into some kind of chamber. Oh my, did you stumble upon a Draugr tomb or something? It was pitch black and I couldn't see anything inside. And I have sealed off for now. Who knows what could be down there? Entry tree. Tree? Yes, that's a tree. Entry three. We've had to rework our cellar expansion to accommodate for the recent findings. I threw a torch into it and saw what it looked like. Saw what looked like Nordic ruins. I wonder if we could get one of the scholars down here. They may pay us to explore it. I wouldn't say no to some extra coin. <laughs> Nonetheless, we have to keep it sealed. It could be full of draugers or spiders. Or worse. Entry 4. We did not get a restful night's sleep. We heard all sorts of god-awful noises coming from the hole in the cellar. At one point, we thought we heard scratching like something was trying to escape. Poor Aneka was horrified. Honestly, I was a little scared too. I am a farmer, not a fighter. I fear for our lives. If something comes out of there, I may not be able to protect the NECA. Entry 5. So I'm guessing they locked themselves in because they were scared. More noises last night. They were far more intense and loud than the night before. Aneka is scared half to death. She spends all day outside and has a very hard time falling asleep. I think I'll hire some mercenaries later today to take a look. That way we can put all this behind us and finally figure out what's down there. Entry 6. They have to be dead. They must be. I paid two large Nords, a Red Guard, and an Orc to take a look today. <laughs> Two large Nords, a red gun, and an orc walking walk into a bar. Neither comes out alive. It was silent for several hours, and then we heard the most dreadful screaming. It stopped after a few minutes. They must have been attacked. It's the only explanation. I have more permanently sealed the hole up with planks and bolts. That ought to hold the spirits back. We won't have any more of this. Huh, we would pack up and leave, but we can't lose the farm. Not this close to harvest. Aneka has calmed some since I sealed it off. Hopefully, we can forget about all this. I just hope the guards don't come by asking about those men. Entry 7. I must go in. Why? I heard screams while I was outside working the field. They... they took Aneka. Why was she inside the house by herself if it's haunted? I don't know who or what they are, but they have her now. They broke through the planking. Oh, not the planking. There's a fair amount of blood. And I fear for her life. I'll write an extra note and leave it before the cellar door. I must then seal it off so that nothing can escape. I never fought anything in my life, and I fear I will do no good. Hopefully it's just rabid wolves. That's still bad? Oh yeah, the wolves kidnapped your wife. Totally. But it's far less severe than the other possibilities. If you find my other note, and I am not present, then I have failed. Please get help. Or if you are of able body yourself, try to help us. Even if we are captured or injured, we might still be saved. Plus, whatever is down there must be dealt with. If it escapes to the surface, it could be bad news for others. Especially Borvald. May the Nine watch over me. 
Okay, that was a lot of exposition. Let's get to it. Let's go cure in the basement of its uh, evil uh, evil sickness. We gotta get down with the sickness. Uh -uh, come on, get down with the sickness. The new show, Reading with Carl. Yay, I do do some uh, creepypasta reading on my channel, actually. Dark Reads. I've only done a, like three, though. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. I'm not scared. Remember, you don't get paid until they're all dead. Shut up, Nassim. Okay, so this is definitely where they were sealing this off. Well, good thing we have our little travel lantern with us. It'll help in the darkness. Yeah, sorry about that, Kijor. Sweet rolls ain't good for my digestion system. Digestion system. It's a cute way to say digestion system. It's just a cover-up of the fact that I can't say that word. Save yourself. He got them. He took the others. Only there was more than one. There were so many. They fought back. But it was no use. I'm hiding right now. It's how I survived. Oh, by the nine, they're coming back. Oh, gods, help me. Here they come. <laughs> wow. That's great, dude. I have enough of time for that. Let's see. Give me that gold. Steel war pick. I have a Nordic war pick. Don't need your steel. Don't need your handouts. Chick, 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 chick. The world needs tales of heroism. You're right, Nassim. And I'm here to provide it. For Skyrim. By the twin moons. Yeah, you could say that. That is quite something. Yeah, I know, I know. There were Khajiits camped. Nassim's not made to be a follower. He just spouts the same lines with like a 30 second cooldown. Oh my. Oh. Another mercenary. A strange sighting. Does everybody write down what they see in this place? Is that like a... Like a... Guy, I can't remember the Mandori Yatki. Whatever. A strange sighting. Go on, go on. The strange noises have increased in frequency. Olin is worried, and Fjarik swears he saw a person at the far end of the large cave room. Only he says he couldn't have been a person. It was too weird, misshapen. It kind of freaked us all out. Then Olin reminded us that we are tough, huh? and if it comes down to it, we'll just kill whatever it is. Sounds good to me. Yeah, about that. Don't think so. Have your note back. Oh, Falmer? Yep, should have figured. We got Falmers in the house. Boom. Ah, oh, difficulty's on wrong. I've been doing some uh, gameplay for my machinima, so let's put that. Let's let's do adept for now. Actually, should be good. We're not playing on novice. There's another one of the mercenaries. Nordic caves. I will read that note after combat's done. See a few more of them around here. I didn't want to fire my spell in the faces of my uh, friends here. This is be good to your friend day. And I'm doing my best not to hurt them. Let's let's see how many seconds I can keep that up. All right, across. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. Hey there. Good night. Weak Falmer. Tremble before the Archmage. Now, what did your notes say? As far as we can tell, the first room is some kind of Nordic entry passage. Just beyond that, a large open cavern. It's quite beautiful, actually. But don't understand it all. We have a job to do. Yeah, good luck with that. Spoiler alert, you died. He's like, oh man, I wanted to find that out for myself. Sorry, dude. Oh, go for it. Finish him. Finish him. I still love the fact that Kajor's... Is he sniping with the... Yeah, he's all the way over there. He's sniping. That's beautiful. All right, let's uh, totally not manipulate the kill. Oh, the kill move chance is actually set pretty high. I didn't even know. All right, that's good. I just, I love kill moves being triggered. And if it's a more active thing, that's always good. Because we use a lot of spells and you don't always get kill moves on spells. So, oh, oh, get some clothes on. Oh, you're with your wife. Ah, I see then it's okay. Do it. Nope. No kill move. Good night. Oh, are you... That didn't happen. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. Nassim's totally fine. He's happy with life. Oh, more of them. Oh, we won't be careful with my fire spells from now on, I guess. Huh. Yep. Finish him! I think it's because my friends finished him every time that I don't get a proper kill move. Oh! 
Alright, one hander's getting quite high. There we go. I'll just shoot it a bit behind them. Ugh. I know I'm not able to focus on chat a lot right now, but I'm sure you understand. I should heal, shouldn't I? Did I just heal him? Wow, I don't know my key bindings well. I just healed my... Okay, dark logic. Yeah, I do think I'm a little better than you, because I'm not an annoying bastard. Well, some of you might beg to differ. Yeah, move! Go for it! Nope. Oh. Kill the Charis. Let me see you in action, Kijor. I'll help out, actually. That thing is nasty. You don't want them in your room. Oh. Uh. There we go. I gotta learn, like, the proper distance to shoot my... I, Nassim is hot. I'm just trying to, like, visually s represent his hotness with flames. That's all I'm doing. Was that a... Yeah, it was. I'm not sure if that was just a body from the start. All right, I think we cleared it out. Whew. Oh, Why would they... No. Lenar. Aneka. That's booty, though. She had that going for her, Kajor. And in the end, that's all that mattered. Hey, Move! Mo well, sorry guys, we're stuck here. Uh, I know, I, I promise not to hurt my friends, but... I'm sorry, I need to get out of here! Forgive me! Forgive me, friends, are you okay? Ah, uh, Kajor's fine. Okay, that was a tragic end to their tale, sadly. We should go and uh, inform whoever about what happened here. I'm not sure who decided what happened. Found the Elders, they along with the mercenaries were killed by Falmer. She had to Amber Creek let Yelma know what has happened. Oh, okay, yeah, because she was she was taught we he mentioned her in the letter. That's why we're gonna go into her. Cause oh, you thought it was ogre? It's never ogre. Actually, that pun only works when we're fighting ogres. Whatever. It's totally not getting old. Ugh. Go for it! Bring it on, Fama Skulka. I've got plenty of experience skulking. If skulking means stalking or something similar, then I... Oh, you! you that is the nastiest grasshopper I've ever seen! I was almost tempted to use set scale 10 on it, but... You know, a man has to have his limits. And that's where my limits go, let's just put it like that. Okay. So, let's continue through here. There should just be a way back up. I didn't expect this. Yeah, there's there's the clear sounds. Dungeon cleared. Let's head along. Out in the world of... Uh, 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 out in the world of Skyrim. And then we go... Jumpy. Alright. Felsgar hold. Good work, everybody. Pretty happy about that. Hmm. The beautiful darkness surrounds us, consumes our souls. Alright, I feel like our first little... You guys ever gonna come out? <laughs> guys? I feel like our first trip here actually went pretty well. I'm happy about it. Like, I feel like me and my friends are really bonding. You know, the whole no violence thing kind of went out the window, but... Overall, like, hopefully they won't leave me. Right? Right, guys? Uh, I'm not really that comfortable with doing dual commentaries and like cooperating with others throughout the history of my channel I maybe done that like Five times or so over the course of making thousands of videos, so <laughs> Yeah, I'm not I'm not that comfortable Because I'm not very social in real life, so it doesn't really translate that well automatically to YouTube either I'd like just gosh darn it. I suck at this. I, I need to get Kajor to do this. It doesn't always translate that well automatically into the internet, you know? So, I prefer working alone. I'm a lone wolf, always striving for perfection. And to the fear crime, I'm Batman. Okay. So the farmstead is actually here now, so we got pushed quite a bit away. Yeah. Just gonna run along here, hope that our friends catch up eventually. They can be a bit slow sometimes. Or maybe they just got really pissed at me and decided to like do some sort of strike. That could be too, actually. Hmm. 
Now I'm worried. Oh, whatever. Our, our companions are probably fine. We'll continue along. We can always return to Amber Creek later. Maybe we get a few more quests that are all about returning to Amber Creek. We can do them all at once, you know? That's, uh... Usually works out okay. Here. Yeah. Well, there you were. Sideways slash. Good night. And you, Wolfie. Kabam! Just punch, like, it's... It's almost like kicking a dog to the head. It's horrible. But it had to be done. Sometimes you just gotta kick puppies to the head. Voices from the dark. 2015. Can I just... I just started a little bit? Yeah, I liked it a bit better. There's probably no... No difference. Instead of whispering me messages, you can just post them live in chat, so maybe others can, like, reply to you as well. Because I'm not gonna be able to, like, catch your, uh, catch your messages all the time. There's... Surprisingly few areas here. I was sort of expecting this to be more crowded. I mean the nature is beautiful and all but I don't know I just feel like maybe the starting area had a lot more places out here. It feels very empty Hmm, maybe just like some areas of the mod were more uh, worked on than others, but there we go We're getting something on the map. I like finding these little places where you sort of have Like quests that you have to seek out on your own for the most part which are the best kind of quests. Okay, I hear something. I swear I heard like a little humming sound, like a little child singing. Well, I'm out in the forest in the middle of the night and I hear creepy children singing. <laughs> um, I'm as, uh, I'm as screwed as this elk right here. <laughs> Nice front flip. You can keep your venison. I don't want it. All right, now we're getting some stuff on the map here. So we have a little housey thing over here and a little passy thing over there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, this is False Scar. A big mod. You can get it for free. Just Google False Scar and get going. Pine Vale. I thought I heard something. This seems like a burnt down village. Hello? Oh, I, th I thought we were gonna have some sort of questing here, or like have some sort of non-lethal encounters. Guess I was hoping for too much. Get that stun Oh, yeah, ambush, huh? Beautiful. Too bad you're messing with the Archmage of Winterhold College. That's right. I give students all the Ds. And the Cs and the Bs and the As, because I kind of grade their stuff sometimes. Really? I don't even want to be here. This place sucks. Actually, it's pretty cool. I'm liking it a lot. Okay, we're just gonna spam fireballs. <laughs> Good night. Oh. Oh, shit. She's dodging. I have this, like, restoration perk, which gives me a little bit of HP once a day if I drop at, like, a lethal level. So, that's very nice. I can survive. Lethal blows. Oh, there we go. Straight up the nose. Just how she likes it. So, we're gonna get the gold. She has some Nord mail. I wonder if that comes in like an outfit as well. I'd like to see it. There's somebody here. Where are you? Oh, I think I found him. There we go. Good night. Don't you? Well, it's too late. It, wh where are you? <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Just finished this already. Alright, what do you guys have for me? Is there anything here other than bandit ambushes? Anything interesting I should know about? Ooh, Martha found a couple of breasts. Doesn't mind that. I have no idea when the stream's gonna end. We just began. I have no clue. Plate wooden. Throwback. Throwback Friday. Alright. I don't see anything interesting here. It's just a nice little place at the end of the road. If you want to sleep, you will become a toad. Because the bed is enchanted. And that's not good. So let's go chop some wood. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about everything. I failed you. Where are my companions? This is supposed to be like a bonding trip and they're not even here. Did they get lost in the cave? What you see over there is a very rare elk. I'm gonna try and approach it. I appear to have killed the elk. Gosh darn. 
I wonder if I fast travel to this place, they'll come to me. I want my people back. I want my people back. I want my... I got Nassim. Uh, I didn't really want Nassim, though. I wanted the other guy. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Jakor? Uh, I can't remember. Whatever. Nassim's better than nobody, I guess, so... We got that going for us, which is good. Now, there was a little pass thing on the map here. I wanted it to be daylight. Oh my god, no shut up, Nassim. How do we, like, approach this? I'm not sure. Is it, like, further up here? Because I can see it on the map. I think we should try and walk around the mountain. I don't think it's directly there. Bye-bye, <laughs> rubber. Be back soon. For the freedom of Skyrim death to Nassim. Mm. Nassim has served us well. You know, being an utter annoyance. But he did come back for us, after all. I mean, we had to go to, uh... To Whiterun. <laughs> Maybe Nassim finally went to Cloud District. Now that is pretty. The sun filtering through the trees like that. And deformed horses running around. Absolutely beautiful. This is a really pretty place. They, they have that going for them. And some of the quests have been rather cool as well. Stuff that, like... Better than certain Skyrim quests, so very good. Nassim should have been the main antagonist, not Alduin. Nassim is like Alduin's second form. The Northern Pass. What is this? Wait, can I go? Wait, the Northern Pass? Where does this? Does this take me to? For many years, this gate has been sealed, blocking passage to Falskar's frigid and dangerous Northern Hole. Perhaps someday it will be unsealed. <gasps> But not now. If you want to get it, buy the $40 DLC. Okay. I, those animals, I have no idea. They have some strange name. There's so little here. Okay, there must be something over by the pond. Come on, guys. We have team building exercises to do. We have team building exercises to do. Huh. Wait. What? There's somebody down there. Is that a guard? I wanted to drink my Coke, so please be friendly. I wonder if I can play it now. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Beautiful. Then I'll have to replace my whistling. Maybe you have... You need to have a seal to open that sealed door, Swarch? No. Ban Swarchy, please. Unmod him. Ban him. <laughs> that will be something, though. Okay, here we go! Giant- Oh, Giant camp? You're telling me we're gonna find a giant camp? Don't mind if I do, this is a beautiful little pond here. Ooh! Local wildlife! I said local wildlife! I said local wildlife. Not anymore! Two for the price of one! Bye now! Okay. You've done well, Marthor. Now let's go further. <laughs> I can't whistle. That's just a that's just a sad fact of life. Some of us are born too perfect, I guess. Too perfect. <laughs> Cause whistling is totally a deficiency. Kill him dark. We know you want to. No! He's my friend. I hear something. I keep hearing something. There's mammoths here. That's cool. Nah, it's big old fire. Ooh. Skiver roast. Man, if I do. Alright, you got some fancy rocks too. Oh. Are these yours? Oh, they're yours. Yeah, they're apparently his. Mammoth. Oh, you must go, mammoth. Let me ride you. Yeah, there's no right mammoth. Oh man, he's pissed too. Nope. Nope. Oh, I immediately regret this decision. I regret it. We got it on the map at least, and that's something. Nasima, are you here? I mean, Nasim. He's no longer uh, Nasima. He's no longer level 99 in all skills on RuneScape. Yeah, oh, he's like, I'm gonna run across a meadow. 
Look at the flowers in my hair. Nope, nope, nope. I will not stand for this, giant. I wonder if I can push him, I probably can't. Huh. The build up is so big. <laughs> He's gone fishing. He's gone fishing. Hello there. Goodbye there. Beautiful. All right, I feel a lot better about things right now. I feel like I've managed to get back my manliness points that were lost from running. Ooh, Argonian scale faces. Fight. Yeah, I'm being shot in the back here. I don't very much like it. Yeah. I am serious. Serious black. <laughs> the triple slash. The scale faces don't stand a chance. Alright, who's next? Wait, wasn't there a bandit here a second ago? Wait, I swear I was being sniped by a... Oh, you... Wait, where? Oh, there you are. Blended in well, my friend. Oh, you think you're cool? Hey! Oh, I was gonna do some sort of badass uh, launch attack. Yeah. Oh, wow. I have like a new combat mod which makes the enemies a lot quicker in combat and they now they're dodging and they can sort of react to your attacks a bit better. Oh, there we go. Martha are showing them who's boss. What? Well, <laughs> then I just teabagged him. Automatic teabag <laughs> included in the animation itself. All right, onwards. There are more bandits to be killed. I'm ridding Falskar of its bandit problem and half its population, apparently. Open the gates. So, um, can I make some new friends here? Oh, he's not hostile yet. Actually, let's do the flame one. Whee! Now he's hostile. Beautiful. I want to finish him with my sword though. Oh! Mage! Got a mage! He has those uh, wards. They don't help against the sword though. Sorry about that, buddy. The book of. Wait, the bandits have a book? Hold on. The book of bandits by a friendly source. Congratulations, reader, for finding this book. It doesn't matter if you pulled this off a dead adventurer, stole this from a store, or by the eighth bought it. You've made the correct decision. If you not noticed, but I'm sure you did, clever reader that you are, that bandits are on the rise and a greater number in strength. Now why should you, a glorious bounty hunter, coinless rogue, justice-inspired mage, or legendary hero, should even care about this? Well, my friend, you must understand that this makes bandit hunting more profitable. And if you, the sick sort, more fun. Oh yes, okay. What? Okay, sure. Whatever, I thought it was some sort of guideline, like, rule number one, repeat the same old tired dialogue lines constantly. Or something like that. I guess they aren't that specific, it's more theory based. That's okay. Hello? Wait, I hear... They're fight. I hear Kajor! I swear I hear Kajor there. Is he down here? Yay, Kajor came to the rescue! That's right, let's finish just the way we started it, Kajor. Together. Too late. Thanks, old friend. You smell more of them? Of course I do. Good, good. Lead me to them. Oh, I cannot use this while in combat. Oh, you got that one. Good work. He looks like such a badass assassin. Like this badass rogue mercenary just coming out of nowhere. I'm just spitting out words here, apparently. Alright. Was that all? That appears to be all. I love his combat style right now. I love his combat style. Okay, so was there an actual interior here, or was this just kind of to look just a good-looking place? Yeah, I don't know if there's any actual interiors here, but that's totally fine. Like this has been uh, fun enough, just on its own. I don't know what it is that makes it more exciting than just exploring vanilla Skyrim. I guess it's just like new locations. You know, it's similar in a lot. Of don't curse. It's similar in a... It's similar in a lot of ways, but it's also very new, you know, because you never know quite what to 
expect from it. <laughs> keep it under control, keep the rage contained. So we'll see what we can find here. Just a few golds, a few golds, a few chests with gold. Golds is not the correct plural of gold, Dark. I got so many golds, I got golds for dead. Oh, look at Borval in the distance there. You wanna go closer, you wanna have a closer look? There you go! I don't think he'll survive. Wait, if he lands in the water, he might survive. Nope, he's bouncing on the ground. Yeah, he's not. Oh, shh! Oh. Okay. Shh, we can get out of this situation. Just, just think, think calmly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jump! Yeah. Okay, we did it. Whew! It's a close one. But yeah, that, that guy's gone. Kijora, don't come up here. No, Kijora, don't. No. Guys, how can I resist? How can I resist? Yeah. JK, I would never do that. I love it. What? Who am I hearing? Is there somebody coming up the stairs right now? Oh. Oh. This is a um, mod spell called Mida's Force Push. I would never do this to Kijor. But Nassim, on the other hand... <laughs> have you seen that shrine of Azul? <laughs> okay, so I have a fun idea which might potentially crash the game. I love it. Let's make Nassim a bit bigger. And let's send him on his way and we'll see if he ever finds his way back to us. Let's go! Uh -oh, sorry. Um, uh, shit, okay. So, reason that didn't work is that his body is not here. His body is right here, but we have to shoot him right between the legs here. There are opportunities. Go! Bye-bye, <laughs> Nassim! S smell you later. Okay. So, there we go. I said I wasn't gonna hurt my friends this episode. But... Does Nassim technically count as my friend? I don't think so, guys. I don't think so. So now we have this giant Nassim roaming the woods somewhere. I wonder if I can see him in the distance. Oh no, he's coming! He's coming back for revenge! It's attack on the seam! Do 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 Oh, he's so fast! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry, I regained so much respect for you right now. You see, we just we just mess around. We just mess around a bit, that's all. And now the seam's gonna <laughs> he's super speed! Uh that just happens until he crouches, then it goes back to normal. It's because of set scale. It's a fun little exploit you can use if you want to travel quickly. Just use set scale 10 on yourself, run a little bit so you start running at super speed, then just use set scale 1 again. You'll be the normal size, but you'll have 10 times the speed, so it's pretty freaking great. I don't know if it scales like it's actually, you know, literally 10 times the speed, but... Regardless of that, that was a fun little castle. I feel like we really got to know each other, you know? I got some new respect for Nassim, Kijor showed up just in time, like it's... It was a really pleasant time. It was a really pleasant time. By the way, you can see that I might need a haircut. Just maybe. Just possibly. Maybe a little bit. I'm gonna get a cut before before Eve comes here. I gotta look presentable, you know? Actually, that's probably the person I have to look the least presentable around, but... I wanna. Besides, it's getting too long. Like, it's just not even staying up with hair gel right now. It's just like, no. Why must you let him live? I tried, Scott! I tried! I tried so hard! Okay, so can I come in? Oh, wait, this is the- oh, wait, I accidentally found the, uh, place we're supposed to go questing. Wait, is Yelma there? Wait, no, 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 Yelma is in Amber Creek. Why does it oh, strange. Oh, well, we don't want to do this just now. I kind of just want to roam around a bit. And Kijor's lost now. We replaced Kijor with Nassim. For some reason, they can never, ever keep up. I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to trim it a bit so it's more presentable and I don't get food all up in it when I'm trying to eat. I know, too much detail. Speaking of TMI, this... <coughs> <coughs> don't know where that came from. Maybe my body was like, no, Carl, don't tell the story. I woke up this morning and I just... I had like saliva all over my beard and I was like, okay, something freaky went down in the night. But I, I've been like drooling out the side of my mouth and it was just, it was, it was beautiful. I felt like a real baby. I felt like a real baby. So Mia's claims that I'm actually a baby is, you know, 
well grounded in reality. She has uh, clear proof. There is evidence available. Oh, Kajora's making it back. Kajora's making it back. He's gonna make the big league one day. Local wildlife. No more. There's another one here. Somewhere. Hello. There's something over the hills. What's that coming over the hills? It's just a wolf. It's just a wolf. Nassim's not on fire. Let's just say that I'm allowed to hurt Nassim. I'm sort of changing my policies a little bit as we're going along here. Dark saliva appeared. Uh, so yeah. Oh. Okay. So we have a little, we actually have some things on the map now. I'm like, wow, we have things to explore. That is pretty. Look at, oh, look at that texture. Oh, mm, oh, I'm going to do things to that texture. You should never do to a texture. Print it out and have it on your wall. It's just so nice. What symbol is this? Looks like some sort of anvil. Could this be anvil? The most western city in Cyrodiil? Hello? What's going on here, dude? Ingvar. Wait. The Ingvar? You mean the bad guy who's gonna take over Falkreath and is probably the last boss, Ingvar? Oh, what a pleasant... Well, you know, maybe we can end the quest a little earlier. Ingvar! I challenge you to a duel! Here we go! This is probably gonna break the quest. How about thee? Bam! That's right! Get him! We won! Falskar is saved! <laughs> what is he doing here? Are they let Oh, they're not letting him back inside. Oh, they realize how much of a baby you are. You've been thrown out by your own people, huh, Ingvar? He's like, gosh darn it, I swore this gate was supposed to be open. That's beautiful. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep moving. We're not gonna bother him too much. We're just seeing Falskar this episode if you didn't catch it already, like getting places on the map, and I feel like we've actually done quite a good job of exploring this area. I'm happy with our progress, it's just, it's just a joyous little trip through Skyrim, enjoying it with some mods, even four years after its initial release. Hmm. So, we can either go to the forest or the tower, forest or the tower. The Tower in the Forests. Hmm. Martha has used that nickname before. We're gonna start with the forests. You gotta just start with the forest, just work your way up to the tower. Until we get to the top. And then who knows what could happen from there. Oh, he's so beautiful! Look at this! I wanna make out with this water. I don't think that's how making out works. I think Eve tried to tell me that it wasn't, but... Oh, there's actually... There's a pond! Oh. Local wildlife. Did I get him? <laughs> I'm hunting for a rabbit with fire. Wait, is that his body? Yeah, I think that's his body right there. Yeah, I think I got him. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. It's it's safe. It's a cave by the water. That's amazing. That's amazing. So another cave. We haven't seen any of these, huh? Coming here will be the last mistake you ever make. <laughs> See about that, bandit plunderer. I'm gonna plunder your heart. You know why I really hate you, bandit plunderers? Because whenever I use the Skyrim search function to look for my NPC Lund, you guys keep cluttering the list! Because Lund is a part of plunderer, and that's how the system works, yo. Seems more like Tower in the Bush. <laughs> Not if you're Marthar. Okay. Bye bye, Skeden, you see. Oh, you call me a milk drinker? Now I ain't seen she's a milk drinker. But she's palest. I would actually like your little mouth band thing. I get. Oh. I'll be taking that now. I want to be a bandit. Just like you. Ring mail armor. Face mask. Green. I want to be like Kajor. I want to make a gang. Kajor, can we make a gang? We could be the cool dudes. Or actually, I'll, I'll let you guys choose name because it won't be good if I do it. Oh yeah, come up with a badass gang name for uh, Kijor and Nassim. Now we just need to get a face mask for Nassim and the gang is complete. Then we gotta get matching armor and run around and terrorize Falskar. Huh. 
Oh, yeah, I, I, I it didn't hit Kajor. I hit, I hit, I hit the bandit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Time to end this little game. Yeah. 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 This punching stuff ain't helping much. All right, I'll just finish you then. Oh, we got a heavily armored guy here. Bandit plunderer, clogging up the CK. Eh. Go for it. Just, just go for it, guys. I might have time to read chat, actually. All right, the Cloud District gang. The CDG? You don't mess with the CDG. Oh, I found a Khajiit bow. I know, whatever. Kijor won't use it anyway. He's fond of the pickaxe fireball uh, staff lifestyle. And if, hey, if that, that's his choice. That's his life. Can you just... Thank you. That's his life. Guys with masks. <laughs> give Wait, give it to Nassim? Wait, was there another mask here that I missed? I, I can't remember. Uh, I hope I haven't passed by any uh, masks. I'm not very observant, you see. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. There were several oh, shut the your mouth. Seems been More bandits in caves, guys. More bandits in caves. More bandits in caves. Oh, it's the uh, Gauntlets of Kijor. The same gauntlets you can see on my t-shirt here. How is that possible? Magic. Magic. Scroll of Mayhem. Creatures and people up to level 12 will attack anyone nearby for 60 seconds. Color me interested. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Guys, guys, guys. Yeah, got him. Bandit scum. Show your face. Or face the consequence. <laughs> Don't laugh at your own jokes, kids. Unless you're a YouTuber. Bring it on! Son of a gone. Beautiful outfit. Oh man, that is um, that is a that is a poor mismatch right there of uh, ring mail and uh, the Scottish kilt right there. <laughs> I have no idea if that is, if that's even the English word for it, and it doesn't even look like it. Whatever. Oh. It looks like the thing you wear when you play a bagpipe. Am I not stereotypical enough for ya? Sorry. Oh! Oh wow, this guy's uh this guy's a hard hitter. He wears his beautiful dress though, it must be giving him all the Oh, oh he, he Wow. He died before I could even uh, finish him off. That's that's beautiful. Alright. Next up, Heel Town. Population me. Ooh, they put out a feast for us. Come, come, guys. Let's enjoy. Oh. Oh, wait. But how will I eat with this mask on? I have donned a veil. The veil of no food eating. I'm not sure that it's news, but lately it seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim. I'm so gonna kill you. We still need one more. Ooh, gold ingots. We still need one more mask. To make Nassim join the gang, and then we can all be gang members together. Life goals! Yeah! We'll see about that. What if I come to do both? Actually, let's get this stupid Khajiit over here. Um, I didn't mean anything by Khajiit. Steal the Khajiit. <laughs> I love that voice. Are you serious? Where's his money going anyway? Well, going to the betterment of my channel. Also, shit, also it's preventing, it's helping me not having to get a part-time job, meaning I can focus more on making videos all day. Which benefits you. Okay, I'm, I'm safe, I'm safe. Oh! That's right! I'm a thug, thug mother. I was, I was gonna try, I tried to like come up with some sort of badass quote there, but I couldn't. Beautiful. Angry and I'm Money King. Dark Portal, his sister some money, already got it back. Yes. That's... That that happened, actually. Oh! Oh, I picked up gold and I heard the gold sound and that's also my tip alert, so I got, like... Happy about nothing. <laughs> Expert robes... Don't count me in! 10 out of 10. A game at dinner. 
That's a vanilla book. That's a vanilla book. Is that all that's here? I think that was the last cave. Yeah, the cheese command is gone because people were just spending the entire stream typing in uh, exclamation point cheese, so... <laughs> I wouldn't look at it that way angry, but... Oh, wow. Can I go here? No. No. The illusion of choice. The illusion of freedom. Lies. Lies to betray you. Pull you in and destroy you. I've been here before. Let's see. So, this is where we came from. And then we were fighting. Ha, huh, ha. Huh. I gotta, like, retrace my memories. I gotta go full Benedict Cumberbatch Sherlock right here. Rearrange memories. Although I don't look as good or act as good or... Basically, I'm, I'm nothing like Benedict Cumberbatch, so... That sucks. At least we have the water. Hey, my companions actually made it out at the same time that I did. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Yeah, they are troubling times, indeed. There is a legend of a land in Tamriel, one more in a scene of old dance... Of old, dance around, but the fate there has worsened. Then the seamborn have come, they wield the full force of annoying voice lines. <gasps> Cloud District! Lo lo lo! Fucking cool! Oh my god! Me gusta! Lo la la la! Totally know the lyrics. Wait, what's that marker? I can never remember what this marker is, because there's not that many of them. I'll check it out regardless. I'll check it out regardless. Yeah, where's people from? We can do a little round call. I'm from Norway myself. Lived here my whole life. Splinter Rock Point. Oh, I... What? what? Oh, wolves! I thought I heard something, but I wasn't really sure what it was. Now it's solved. Hey, it was a wolf! The wolf did it! Aha! Alright, Splinter Rock Point. This was a beautiful little place, though. It sort of uh, reminds me of this place we found in Oblivion the other day, called uh, Hill of Suicides. Can I find... Is that, is, is, are you trying to make me adventure right now? Did you intentionally poke it out of the water like that to make me come closer? Hashtag things women have said to Martha before. Oh, there's not. Is, is there a treasure? Oh, come on. Come on, that looks so promising. It's like some sort of lost Viking ship. But there's no booty? No booty, no love. That's that's my motto. It doesn't seem like my breath butter is visible. Lots of people from England, Finland, Norway, Saudi Arabia, Czech Republic. That's good. It's good to see some diversity here. Dee -dee. This looks like an abandoned place. Nothing of interest here. Then again, you never know, you could find a note somewhere like, Hey, I stashed my old dungle's uh, funeral ashes in a pot, go find it. Or something, and then it turns out that his uncle was dead all along. And then it turns out he was the uncle. Then it raises the question, how did they put his own ashes in urn? Brum. Are we entering like some sort of like snowy region here? Is this a Forsworn camp? Did they come here across the sea? Did they cross the narrow sea? Oh, Draugr's. I thought this was a Forsworn place. Goodbye. Take a chill pill. All right. Dragon shout. Martha's not the dragonborn. I can't shout, but I'll just pick it up so I can see what it is. Fight, champion spirits. I think that just like improves our uh, our get good game. It's pretty much what it does. <laughs> Angry, stop giving Dark the tip. I like it when people give me the tip. Okay. Don't quote me on that though. This is so beautiful. Like big props to Falscar. Like it's just the creator. Uh, like creators. I don't think there was a lot of people working on this or if it was just mainly one guy But it's like 
it's impressive and it's free that's the thing like you could just you can pick up like Skyrim legendary edition during a steam sale for you know I don't know if it's like ten dollars or whatever so yeah and then you can just download mods have fun get crazy dance mods Rick roll your friends have a party dance around half naked it might just be me though my weekend hobbies are my weekend hobbies this tower over here, I found it. Ooh, there's a new tower. There's a tower. Ooh, it's so beautiful. So pretty. So if anybody's wondering how I make Skyrim look so good, first of all, I have a pretty beast PC, uh, thanks to you guys. And secondly, I have an EMB called... What's it called? Is it? Yeah, it's the Real Vision ENB. Uh, there's a video on YouTube, a tutorial for setting it up, made by GameSpot which I followed and it was like perfect tutorial. It helps you like install all the patches in what order, where to place which files. Very useful, very useful. And usually like my advice when installing things on PC is just like, just be at it enough and eventually it'll work. You know, most of the time. Local wildlife, no more. Often if I like struggle to install something, I just, I just, I keep at it, I keep at it, I keep at it and suddenly, bam, it works and it feels so good. <laughs> yeah, Skids is uh Skids is falling behind. We have actually planned Skids cameo though. He'll appear in episode two of Kijor Season 3, my machinima series of Skyrim on YouTube. We gotta come up with a good uh a good cameo for Angry though. Unless we're just going with the angry 89 year old man who lives in town and is keeps talking about machines or whatever. Oh shit! Oh he's wearing Kijor's armor as well? He's wearing the armor that's on my t-shirt. Yep. I keep sort of repeating myself because I don't know when people like tune in and not so... You know, if they tune in halfway, they won't know that I've already said it. Well, I thought I was gonna... There we go. Don't rob me of that kill. You bastard. Check that out. It's slightly different, but it's basically the same. This is my shirt. It's my Kijora character with that piece of armor made by a fan. And thanks to Spreadshirt, it is now a t-shirt that you can order at Spreadshirt.something-something-something. I can't remember the exact <laughs> link in my head. And if anybody's interested, I'll show it. It's so beautiful here. I love the cost the costume. The custom music as well. Like it's very subtle. It's not like over uh, what's what's the word? Like it's not just it's not deafening, it's just calm in the background. You don't even think about it most of the time, and that's that's good. We got some amber meat. It's a beautiful day to be enjoying with friends, but I don't have any fr ah, I'm gonna fall down. There we go. That's my logic. About to fall down from a tower? Quick save! Haha! <laughs> that reminds me of back in the day. I probably told this story a few times, but I was playing The Hobbit on uh, PlayStation 2. And I, w I think I was, I was going on one save. Now, the good thing... What? Really angry? <gasps> Prepare for the hype. Oh, you can actually use your mouse wheel to... Wait a minute. Can you press sideways on your mouse wheel to zoom? Anyways, I was playing The Hobbit on PS2, and you know, if you have like 10 or 20 game slots, what you should be doing is that you should make first save in slot number one, then next save station, slot number two, slot number three, and just take the round down and then just overwrite number one and start from the top again. Because if you don't and use just one save file, what happens is if that one save file gets messed up, you're screwed. And if you were like a kid playing on the PS2, it took me weeks to get past certain levels in The Hobbit. And what happened was I found a save station, and there are these like small pedestals with some glowy thing on top of it. And it was right next to this uh, lake of uh, ultimate drowniness. Because it was sort of like Assassin's Creed 1, you can't jump in water without automatically dying, so... Yeah, I didn't want to get close to the water, so I jumped onto the pedestal, but I landed like halfway off the pedestal, but halfway on the pedestal, over the water. And I saved, in my slot, so meaning whenever I loaded that save, automatically fell in the water and drowned. And then just kept repeating that loop over and over, and I cried, and I had to start the game over again. But games as a kid, I was stuck for weeks on the most trivial things. People could be like, okay, here's how to kill the monster. Use this spell and this spell. And on me as a kid, I'm like, Hurder. And yeah, 
It took a while, like I even had my mom come and help me, we just fumbled around, we couldn't do it. And she even told me that sometime when I was like in kindergarten and stuff, she would- get to the cloud district very often. Of course you don't. Oh my god. One. What, 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 that's, that's not even one, that's Thank you for supporting me and what I do. It's, it means a lot. It means a lot. Being able to do what I do, have fun, and just be able to do what I'm passionate doing. And while it's, I know, like, it's, you know, I'm sort of, I, I really want to do this full time. But I don't know if I really, I don't, I, I can't yet, at least, but I don't know, I really want to, I really want to make it big. And it, it gets harder and harder these days to make it big on YouTube, but I feel like I have, like, a solid grip on something very promising with this channel. Because I started out early, I started out in 2010, get off your ass and go get that PS4. <laughs> like, I feel like, since we've started up this channel, we've achieved a lot and a lot of people starting out now did the inspirational music stop inspirational music just as I was about to go on and be really inspirational and stuff <laughs> whatever a lot of the people starting out now it's tough so we're I don't know we're we're off to a very very good start here we've gotten a solid start we had some big successes and we're just continuing to grow both as a community and I like to think that I'm yeah Growing as a content creator, killing more wolves than ever before, getting better at making machinimas, getting better at commentary, at least in my own opinion. I mean, you can compare it to... I love comparisons. Like, I love comparing myself to, like, me in 2011 and 2010, where uh, I'm like, Hello, YouTube, and uh, welcome to my Let's Play of um, uh, Harry Potter and the um, Philosopher's Stone for the uh, Game Boy... No, it's the... Um, yeah, it's the Game Boy... the Game Boy Color. Uh, so, yeah, we're just gonna, um, we'll, uh, select our, uh, hero and, uh, get, get going! Like, we've improved in so many ways, and my life has also improved in so many ways, and this community is also doing a lot of good for a lot of people, and it's just overall really, really, really fun! Okay, we've explored a lot of the things that we can explore here. I feel like there's only one frontier that I haven't properly seen, which is over here. So let's go over to Pine Vale and explore that. Still a wolf following me. Kabam! Get on! That makes 14,000 in the uh, Norwegian Kroner. Chase Dark. Damn. I know I can level up, but I don't really need to because I don't have any perks which I can attribute the point to and I'd rather have it as like a backup oh my god I'm about to die I must level up to complete my health bar you know that was halfway English I'm glad Derek J but yeah our, our growth is uh, our growth isn't like what you'd call extremely fast but it's exponential most of the time Meaning that, like, every month we get a few, like, the number of people we get every month increase little by little, and we get more and more Darklings to, to join the circus. No. <laughs> Hopefully, Kijora Season 3 can... I sort of want it to be a compilation of the skills that I have achieved across the years when it comes to making Skyrim and Machinima, and just what you can do with the program. And what you can like push it to. I really want to do that because there's so many people who are so talented at other types of machinima, like WoW Machinima, for example, like Nixium and Moo Clock and Krendor. And I tried it myself and I was like, I have no idea how to do it. I made like one WoW Machinima and then I just sort of gave up. And I'm like, I have a good grasp of Skyrim, so let's not start anything else. Just, just like use that and see how far we can push the skills. Let's make some custom adventures because in the end, that's what's really fun. That's why I loved playing games as a kid. Whenever I got bored of the main quests or the main missions, it was like, okay, how can we make this interesting? How can we make this unique? Oh, I know. Let's pretend... Let's say I'm playing Spider-Man 2, and instead of going out catching bad guys, stopping all these uh, comic book he uh, villains, I'm like, let's say Spider-Man has a day job at the cafe. And then we sort of ran around to the different customers and pretended to hand them drinks. I was playing with my friend at the moment. 
I mean, he's still my friend, but I was playing with him at that moment. And I was sort of like doing break dance on the table and so on and so forth. And once we were done for the day and the sun was setting over New York City, we would head over to this like bum infested, uh, like little shitty building where we would like sleep for the night until a new dawn came. We would like run around and get the newspaper in the morning and like just. Just make your own stories in games. It's incredibly satisfying and it's so childish. Like, it's really, really childish. But at least when I was a kid and a lot of... Wow, that's that's beautiful. A lot of kids have this great imagination. Like, I really, really envy them. Like, back in the day when I was in elementary, I'm sure most elementary school kids now just sit on their iPads or whatever. But me and my friends, we would be like... We would just use our imaginations for like the whole recess. It would just be like, okay, let's pretend we're like ninja warriors from outer space. Here's a stick. Let's let's duel. And it was just so amazing. We would find like simple board games. We would find like five different board games, combine together pieces, come up with our own rules, and bam, you have your own custom game right there. Oh, it's so It was so innocent. It was so pure and it was just so Yeah, then you get old, and you get cynical, and things sort of lose a lot of their, uh, a lot of their initial shine and glimmer. Things went down here for these people, though. Does this lead somewhere? Is this a monastery? It doesn't seem like a peaceful monastery, but yeah. If you're young and you still have a great imagination, take care of that, man. I'd love to implement it where I can in my videos. But part of it have gotten lost over the years. Now I'm even losing the ability to just sit down and enjoy games uh, casually. Which is a shame. Like, I don't want to lose it, but... <gasps> Daffy Treat. Oh, this is a throwback to my first season with Kujor over here. I collected a Taffy Treat in my adventures and I waited until the final cinematic of the final episodes to eat the Taffy Treat. This is no lot. This is not even a normal Taffy Treat. This is a long freaking Taffy Treat. Om yum yum yum. Sure. I have something for you and I want you to have it if they're not talking that's me having broken their dialogue so don't blame the mod for that that's simply me you beat out your friends in elementary school with sticks but <laughs> no. well, they asked for it when's the next Darkling game night uh, I don't really know what to play on Darkling game night that's the main problem here I mean we do some streams here on Twitch with ESO but then again that's not free but mostly I'm just really... I'm an anxious person, so playing with others isn't always a good idea, but I've gotten... Was that everything down there? But I've gotten slightly better at it over the years. But I feel like I'm able to interact with you so much more now. And the reason I did Darkling Game Nice was just that I wanted to interact with you, but now that I have Twitch, I can talk to you directly. Like I can watch... Oh god, I chose somebody with a difficult name. Like Michaela Sandin say OMG Candy in Skyrim right there. And I can reply to that and be like, yeah, there's Candy in Skyrim and it's freaking awesome, you know? That's good, Ginger Ninja. Never lose your imagination. Like, we have to grow up in certain respects and, you know, take on responsibilities and all of that fun stuff. But you should always sort of try and keep that, that childlike wonder. Like, I, I don't know, I envy kids so much when I see somebody, like, you know, just beating at each other with sticks or just... Whatever. I, I just I I wish I still had that ability to just take something so simple and make it so much more. Which is sort of what I'm doing with a machinima, because I'm just probably gonna ramble here a little bit. I hope nobody minds. All the viewers have dropped off a bit, maybe they do mind. <laughs> but I I kinda wanted to like make movies when I was younger. Like I was very much into like making vlogs, making YouTube videos back in like two thousand and nine, ten, eleven. I was doing like a lot of vloggy stuff. And I really wanted to make some sort of like a uh, movie, but I had no like director abilities and I was bad at working with uh people and so that would never come true. But now that I have Skyrim, I sort of I am a director of my own story here because I have actors like Martha and Kijor, I write a script, I make them act out a scene, I make sure they behave on set, and it's just like directing a movie just in a game. And writing the script I get like, I get to channel my energy for, or I get to like channel my love for writing fantasy. Because in middle school, 
the class students were like asked to think like, oh, what do you think your classmate is going to be like? Oh, I think he's going to be a serial killer when he's old, that sort of stuff. And everybody said like, yeah, Carl, he's going to be, he's going to be a writer. Like he's going to write the next fantasy fiction because I spent every single class writing these uh, silly little fantasy stories in my book during math class. I don't care about math because I don't care. Beautiful. So yeah, I, I get to I get to do that now. I get to just write and unleash my fantasy on paper, and then I get to transfer that onto the screen by using Skyrim as a medium. And it's really amazing and beautiful. And I'll stop rambling now. I'm glad you're here, Virus. Me and my friends used to meet out at a place called Steinbrivon after school. We made this whole story for just playing around. It was good times indeed. Oh yes, oh yes, I know Steinbrivonna. <laughs> I've been there plenty of times. I was actually there like just a few days ago. I just wanted to take a trip because I was getting a headache from looking at my screen all day. And of course it was started raining like crazy and I got totally drenched. Alright, bye bye Nagi Mies. Unleash your fantasy on paper. Let the fan fictions commence! No, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. I'm glad, x -Kun. I know that those... I made some Let's Play advice videos, and I know that those videos, they just focus on the theory. I'm not like, hey, get fraps, get audacity, record like this. If you want a face cam, do this technique. I'm more like the theory behind making videos in general. At least what sort of fueled me, because it's like... Video making is like any skill. Like, you will... 99% of the time suck in the start, unless you're some sort of prodigy. You're gonna start off sucking. You wanna make music, you wanna play the piano? Guess what, you're gonna suck. You wanna sing? You might have a talent, but most likely you're gonna struggle and you're gonna need some practice. Like, the skills need to be developed over time. And so you can like look at content creators and be like, Oh, I wanna make videos like this, I wanna like be smash, nigga higa. But like, they've had to like come a really long way and you most likely have to travel the same, the same path. It's a lot of work to get good at a skill. It's why I'm only really good at this, because I've tried other things. I'm like, I want to get into game development, I want to get into making music. Then I do it for a while, I realize how difficult it is, and I just give up. So I'm really glad I never gave up video making back in the day, because if I did, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I might be out having a job or, like, doing my university work or something, Pff, like a loser. So, yeah. It takes... You gotta start off sucking. That's right, Shiny Racer, you gotta start off sucking. That's the beginning of all things, really. Because you will suck in the start most likely, but that's okay. The most important thing then is that you just enjoy what you do. Especially if you're like trying to break onto YouTube with something uh, these days. Like tip one to get successful on YouTube, start making videos in 2008. Step two, wait, step one's impossible. Ah, doesn't work. <laughs> No, but it takes it takes a lot of work. It's extremely, extremely difficult these times. So you have to enjoy what you do at the very least, because if you don't, there's no way you're gonna succeed. I can tell you that right now, I can guarantee it. Ah! Trees OP, please nerf. I wanna check this out. It's like a little sunken city over here. It's beautiful. There's nobody here though, it's totally deserted. I realize I've sort of just been like wandering around aimlessly while talking. But yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just i I'm just I'm just JKing with ya. Having a job is what you should be having. Oh this is the place with the Oh this is right next to the cave where we lost our dear friends. Yeah, this is Homer. Where we got our beautiful book. This is impressive. Yeah, the Emerald Valley Gates. I'm sure something is gonna happen over here. I found so much though. Like look at this. Are there even places left to explore? That's what I want to know. I want to go find that Yelma girl. When you made videos and you said no one watched for a while, didn't you get down about it? The thing is, I had such an oblivious mindset. Like back in the day, maybe I had like 25 subscribers at the time. I would make like these subscriber updates video like, Hey guys, so we're going to be continuing doing Land of the Dead. And I'm going to finish up Harry Potter and then we're going to start some Sims 2. 13 views, one like, swordsman, no comments, I didn't even notice, I was just really oblivious, I was like, this is a lot of fun, 
and I find watching other Let's Plays really fun, so I want to do it myself and share that joy with others, but I didn't consider the fact that nobody was actually watching, so I just kept doing it, and eventually I got okay at it, and then a game like Skyrim came out, where I sort of grabbed the opportunity and uploaded something relatively early, and with the accumulated skills from 2010-2011, I was able to attract some... Uh, some people. And then I try to spice up the formula in 2012 with a role let's play of with Kijor, and that's sort of where it all took off. And then over the years I've just sort of developed my commentary and my skills of doing stuff in general. It says that I'm supposed to head to Amber Creek, but for some reason she shows up here at Fort Uruk? That... Yalma. Is she like, maybe with the royal family and she's like been moved over there? I don't know if I can find Yalma in town anymore. Let's sell some. This mod is Falskar. Oh, shit. No. Oh, that's Rurik's house. I'm, so I'm sorry, Rurik Senpai. I didn't mean to. This is Falskar. It's like a DLC-sized mod for free. You can just uh, Google it and you'll find it. Let's wait around and check out the store. <laughs> I'm glad you're here, x -Kun. And I'm glad this bottle of Coca-Cola is here. Buy more today. I'm just, JK. I'm not sponsored by anybody. Hey, Mortem Nocte. Good to see you in chat, Matt. Good morning. Good to see you in chat, Matt. Uh, yeah, you had some sort of quest, didn't you? I've, I've sort of been neglecting you a little bit. You less important NPCs, you sort of got in the shaft a little bit, and I, I'm sorry. Martha shouldn't be handing that out as... Readily as he is. Get rid of the meads. Let's try and clear our inventory. We still have the ancient shroud. I can't get rid of that. Oh, I still have Oddman's seasoned beef. I haven't eaten that yet. Wow, I gotta, I gotta keep that around. Oh, that was the robe that I undressed from the lady. Black soul gems are really cool, but what am I gonna use them for? Bread, bread, broken ancient armor. Mm, I, it was just, we just had it for comical effects. Common soul gems can just go. Some really pretty arrows, but Kajora's refusing to use them, so... I haven't changed the sky, actually. Hello, you digits. Some names appear in a really hard-to-read color. Let's see. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna keep the uh, hood. We're gonna get rid of... Oh! Whoa, whoa, Martha, what are you... What are you planning to do with those? We're gonna make a new clock tower here? Calm down now. Oh, she, she's running out of golds. There's a big difference between Vendor and Skyrim. Two dollars? Uh, dollars? Yeah, they use dollars in Skyrim. Two golds? Are you crazy? Uh, maybe I burnt a fox too much? In Skyrim, they have like a set amount of golds. Like, let's say an NPC has 1,000 gold, meaning you can sell items there and she'll eventually run out of gold. In Oblivion, it's a bit different, because in Oblivion, they can have like a set amount of 600, but they have an infinite supply of gold, meaning they will not buy anything for more than 600, but you can sell infinitely to them. Meaning if you find an item worth 100,000 septums, it doesn't help you much, really, because you can only sell for so much money. So it's a bit of a different system. They have their pros and cons, I guess. But I guess the Skyrim one is more realistic. When you think about it. But lately it seems like every blacksmith in Skyrim is out to prove that he's the evil. Can you shut up, Nassim? I'm trying to read chats. I'm glad you're here, Ginger Ninja. <laughs> There's a Steam group called uh, Death to Nassim. I'm not joining that. So, we had this, uh, oh yeah, okay. So we had this thing here. There was this wreck where there was a ring. There was something about that. Uh, I apparently should ask for more information. Well, I could potentially ask for more information. Or I could just go searching for it. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's off the coast. Arr. Let's go swimming and totally get frostbite and die. Am I a descendant of Marthar? Well, he does have a little bit of fused in energies from me here. Marthar is based off an anime character, by the way. Uh, he's based off a character from Girls Bravo. No, I totally didn't watch both seasons of that. Shut up. And oh, what was the what was the character's name? Uh, Fukuyama was his last name, at least. So yeah, it was, uh, something something, uh, Fukuyama. Basically, Fukuyama from Girls Bravo is where Martha came from. Because she was, um, I don't know, I find that sort of style of, I don't know. I, I found it to be an interesting character back in the day, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a mage in Skyrim now. This is December 2011 we're talking about. 
And I was like, sure, let's do it. Oh, that is pretty. You cannot tell me this is not pretty. Oh, bye-bye, go he young. Bye-bye. Here we go. Hey, yeah! Oh, Bjorik's demise, yeah. <laughs> I don't blame Bjorik for having his demise here. Out of all the places. On an isolated ice island with two angry bears. Yeah! Look out, Marthar! Oh, it's okay. Animation invincibility, have you heard about it? Of course not. Have you heard about a new bear on the block with a white ass fur? With the big teeth and the ugly eyes. Gotta... I, I, I can't. I can't. I cannot even. These pelts sell. Fox pelts. Not worth anything. Let's go check this out. So cool. These locations look so cool. <laughs> uh, maybe one day angry. Maybe one day. If Ayan was here, he might take you up on that. But I've, I haven't seen Ayan around. Oh. He was sort of here for like a stream or two or three, and then he faded into uh, faded into the nether. He faded into the nether. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. Not you, bear. Nobody likes you. This was just an... Ooh, Bjarik's journal. 19th of Hothfire, 4th era, 198. I finally found it. I've discovered a record of the Frost Runner. Oh, okay. So this might be useful, because we're actually looking for this one. This cave was just nearby. I can take shelter in here, though. I must watch wildlife that might drift between glaciers or bears. I fall quite many crates from the wreck, though it is dangerous as the water is incredibly cold. Luckily, I have a good supply of potions to keep me going. To celebrate my findings, I am heading to the trader for some fine alto wine. Then I must work on perfecting the water breathing potion so that I may search the wreck for longer at once. 23rd of Hearthfire, I have done it now. After a night of hearty drinking, I managed to perfect the recipe for my potion. However, I didn't write it down, and now I can't figure out how I did it. I'm glad there's one bottle, so I must use it wisely. Bjarik's special brew? Oh, thank you. That's gonna come in handy. Potion of the healer. I ain't no wuss. Alright, so this little potion is probably gonna come in handy when we go... Searching. Yeah, the chat is very nice, actually. Can breathe underwater for 180 seconds. Alright, that's gonna be useful. So, uh, there was a wreck here somewhere. Oh, man. Here we go. Look. I'm just gonna activate the uh, potion if I start running out of breath, I think. Oh, we got, wait, we got booty. Ah, oh, he's probably looted all of this. Wait, where is it? It's further down. Ah. Uh, uh, go. The waterlogged chest. Massive. Oh, yeah, that is... Wait. Is that a pirate hat? <gasps> Did I just find a pirate hat? Oh, yes. Hell to the yes. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. This is happening. This is happening. Could you scene, where are you? I now know what kind of gang we are making. We are starting a pirate gang, ladies and gentlemen. 